Hey, ladies and gents, welcome back to Face TV here for Star Series. We have a cool match coming up, two Swedish teams. We have Unwanted and we have NIP facing off on Dust 2. This should be a pretty hot match, I think. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what Unwanted have to offer. And um, I don't know how much they've been playing together recently. We've seen uh, Pyth subbing for lots of different teams. He's like the go-to kind of everyman. Um, so who knows how, long, how often he gets to play on his own actual team at the moment. So we'll see. How they do against uh, Nip and who seem to be they in form at the moment? They have a lot of form. They have a lot of power. I mean, you've got Pyth. As you said, he's, he's, he's the mixed man. He's the guy that runs in and is able to just make stuff work uh, without any much you know, preparation or forethought. He can, he can really uh, do a lot of dynamic plays that allow him to really open up rounds for his, for his teams. But we get to see him in, a, in another setting here. As you said, you know, we don't know how much they play together, but they have been together for a while now. And of course, you know, XM, Michael Lele, he's been absolutely monstrous in the last like six months or so he really after that initial uh, spurt with lgb uh, where he was playing with quitten previously he's he's been becoming this like guy that originally you don't look you didn't look at him and think this guy is the mad fragger this guy is the is the you know the really strong performer for the team this is the shocks of the team or something but he's actually started to have such crazy results and the best rating of his team oftentimes so really huge player and quitten obviously a, a super sick player as well when it comes to the execution all this team can possibly lack is maybe just strategy and and maybe some team play. That's all they can possibly uh, be without. But uh, are we live or are they just warming up now? I think they're just warming up still. They're trying to sort out the settings. So that's so we can keep talking about the, the map. Because we can keep hyping it up. Yeah, I'm very excited. Are you excited? I'm really excited. I'm pretty I hyped, man. I'm excited. This is, a, this is a Swedish lineup. I mean, they're playing Nip, but they could actually do a lot of damage. And... You know, you have some fan favorites there. You got XM, you got Pyth, Quitten. I think you know Mazaki. You know some of these old LGB guys. It's 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 a really powerful lineup, which I've said a few times, but it's it's okay. <laughs> we have NIP, of course. NIP have historically had often some shaky results when it comes to Dust Two, despite the fact that they, everyone knows that they're really good at Dust Two. But sometimes they get you know kind of off kilter on the off balance on the CT side, like we just saw happen to RDLC. That's happened to them against you know what would be considered lesser teams and. You know, it's, it's the nature of the beast with Dust2 sometimes, I feel like. But uh, you know, Unwanted, having so much uh, individual potential, this could be a great map for them. Yeah, um, Makaleli is really going to have to get to work if uh, Unwanted wants to win this as we go into the knife round here. Law meets on long for a clash of blades. Going to get a bit Game of Thrones in here. <laughs> can, I, can I go RTS mode or third person oh, mode? Oh, fine. Zoom. All right, let's, let's go third person. This kind of reminds me, um, somebody organized like a server, like 60 people on it on Dust2, and they all went knife only. Like, <laughs> it was on Reddit a few months ago, but it was just, I wish I was there. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. I wanted to be, it was like, it was like a Burning Man festival of Counter-Strike. That was pretty awesome. I remember a long time ago in, in uh, Quake, there was this thing where people were trying to break the world record for the biggest player boost on the server. So like they were all like like tens and tens of players I like think I saw like a hundred players just kind of jumped on each other trying yeah. to like boost up. It's actually like it's a very simple thing you'd think, but it's surprisingly difficult <laughs> to like get everyone to actually do that without someone messing it all up. Yeah. So uh, it's pr always pretty funny to see stuff like Something that. Something at the bottom sliding out and just making it all fall apart. Yep. I don't think you can put three people on each other in no. CS:GO. No, you can't. You cannot. Boo. Uh, yeah, party poopers, fun police. Yeah, you can in 1.6, but you can in Source and you can. In, uh, in CSGO, so it's yeah. It's I do miss I do miss the remember the to stack, stack on top on st on top of uh, CT arches on Dust2. You could look yep. over the top of yep. the entire structure. That was awesome. There were loads of really sick three man stacks, but looks like uh, you know very soon I think we should be getting live. We do we did drop one player here. Hey, Makalele just reconnecting. Reconnecting. I wonder actually how this team is going to fare against NIP. I I feel like they can just win. I honestly think they can just win if they get a good start. Um, on, this, on the CT side, I really feel like they can pull it through. Obviously, though, you never want to hedge your bets against NIP, but it's not, you know, NIP, a lot of their skill, a lot of their power is actually the psychology and, and the ability to deal with pressured environments like LAN, where they can really, really just gain a massive edge over some teams. We saw that happen at ESL1, you know, they, they had results where you're like looking at them, you're like, well, how are, how, are they, how are they actually getting this deep into the tournament? And you're having these teams unable to perform at the level that they could just in those pressured environments. It's not quite the environment we have right now. Everyone's playing from their bedrooms, you know, got their, their feet up, just maybe with some coffee next yeah, to them. They could, they could be, they could be playing from their like man, man cave sheds in the garden. <laughs> you know, so maybe that's like a later, like heating years, then you get the man cave shed. 
<laughs> man cave shed. I like it. So we're jumping into the pistol round now, and we do see ourselves some ninjas moving towards dark. And we have a couple around top mid as well. So just trying to uh, get a good idea. Trying to be very careful of any kind of stack or push around short, as can be often done by the CT side on the pistol here. And just a very safe approach from Unwanted, actually. As safe as could be. With two guys actually on B and, uh, you know, just everyone spotting. and This is the calmest pistol round we've seen so far mm. today. I mean, we've seen some crazy stuff, but this is fairly slow and methodical, deliberate, as we are going to see a pincer movement here with one coming in mid, but the uh, Freiburg's going to go down, taken out by Pith, as he moves on to the uh, B bomb site, sorry. And we do have two NIP players remaining in the bomb site here, with one hitting the flank, which is, of course, get right, as per usual. It's going to be causing havoc in CT, stopping the second CT from getting onto the bomb site. Let's get a headshot through the box, though. And it's going to be a two-on-two two here, and they're going to have to push the choke points and see if they can get in. Makalele got 7% health, so he's not going to have a fun time. Does get taken out immediately by Exist, and it will be PB left against two people. Exist with two HP, one tag will take him out. No kit, though. That's the problem for PB right now. Even if he makes the kills, which he might very well do, but it looks like he's not going to make any kills at all. So, unfortunate for him. But... Uh, and I peek it to start with the first round. Very, you made a good point. It was a very chilled pistol round. Very, very chilled indeed. And in fact, Unwanted had two guys in B as well. To like, and they saw it coming. So it's, it was uh, pretty nice that NIP were able to win the one-on-ones there that they found themselves in. And now we move on to a round where we see Whitten with that Deagle. Someone who's made some, some waves with the Deagle in the past. With some of these clutches. And... Uh, other, other than that, the only investment for his team is, is likewise just some pistols, you know, CZ, a couple CZs and a PT-50, a 5.7. So they aren't dangerous here. Form is down in a passive position and the CTs might be looking to push, but uh, Darren is going to be waiting for them, but he doesn't have much health and he does fall and that is the bomb in the CT control now. That was going to be a critical uh, frag there for Pith, but get right gets the better of him with the AK. And it's going to be Whitten in a 4v1, gets a great poke on and get right's head, although his position has been exposed and he's a bit stuck. Exists waiting for him and uh, calm is resumed here. And now we go into round three. So a bit of economical damage there for uh, Unwanted. And this, is, will, this will be their final eco until their first buy round. Yeah, and we do see Forrest <coughs> with the AWP. Can he get someone as they jump across? Looks like no, but if they do get feisty with a the push, then he's going to be in a position to deal with that. Not able to actually get any wallbang damage, but things do start off very chill, very relaxed, very slow on Dust2 here between Unwanted and Ninjas in Pajamas as we have the standard rounds and NIP, they play for the safe plays. They, they go for the methodical pushes together and they do have, obviously, a forest on mid here and there is a short potential kind of push that Forrest will have to deal with very soon as they do edge on onto the angle. They see Forrest still creeping. He's going to go and try to get the shot, but it doesn't quite work out. And it's like we had to push onto the site. So the site is now occupied by NIP. And Forrest still ho holding mid. We've got Exist here, here in Dark. And even though they have the entire like site and they push that entire part of the map, Forest has all of mid. Exist has all of dark. So it's like, what what do they even have there? So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really well played. I mean, you, you can get a lot of uh, cheap frags by taking out rotators in those kind of situations. So nip well placed. Also limits um, the kind of variation there um, for you know people getting headshots on people on site, etc. Just makes it a little bit harder for them. Like this angle here from uh, from XM. You can see he's boosted up here and. Can't even see his gun model. That is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing balance of one foot. It's pretty sick. All his weight seems to be on his second one, but he's standing there perfectly. It's amazing. So that's a really nice spot position. Yeah, the other spot position people look for where you can take the shot and fall back is obviously much closer. So that's a much less risky position. And uh, it's, like it's also going to take more skill to actually get the frag as well. So definitely has its uh, ups and downs. But here we go. NIP trying to you know, move their way through to long. They're going to have this A split well and truly set up now. They haven't actually taken short yet. And the thing is, though, Michael Ellie is actually kind of repositioning to try to help with that AWP on this defense of long, which NIP have. They do not have to commit here. They are actually setting up on short now as well. So it is lo looking like they want this A split badly. Smoke's going down now on the crossover. As they make their way forwards, still yet to find much resistance as uh, Michael Ellie actually dropped off of the site entirely to stay alive and let his teammates come in to actually try to retake together instead of losing anybody else. So there, 
the bomb is down, and we have all the CTs up on short at the moment. And Freiburg on the bomb boxes here now. Fifth minute crossover. This is going to be very hard to deal with, and they're just going to go save. I really like that choice, actually. Yeah, it, it makes sense. I mean, that's going to be a difficult retake. They're going to be facing people potentially from multiple places, from site, from um, elevator as well, and they're probably expecting the bomb to be placed in a very unfavorable position, and uh, they don't have the smokes to kind of go through the diffuse there where they're expecting the forest to be probably pit with the AWP or platform. So quite a wise save. It will be hunted here by Freiburg, but he's going to be going up against a huge crossfire of guns from all angles facing them. And uh, what I was saying about the, the eco there, when uh, Nip had two pit players spread out to catch the rotators, um, what I meant to say was limit variance rather than variation, which doesn't make right, any sense. Right, yeah. Yeah, a bit tongue twisted today, but there we go. And one interesting choice from Michael Ellie is that he's just taking the AWP straight to short. Obviously, he could challenge Forrest, but that's a risk. If Forrest takes him out at the start of the round, he puts his team under immense pressure, not having anyone in mid. And on Dust 2, obviously, as a CTs, you really need someone on mid. But then that leaves either A weaker or B weaker. So it's it's a really big deal to take those risks. And so Michael Ellie going with a bit more of a safe play, but still trying to be active and get some information. So I do like that decision you know, from the AWP um, on Michael Ellie and having someone else you know, dealing with mid. But at the moment, they have the 2 3 split here, two players towards short and two players on B itself. And so this is quite a nice setup here from Unwanted. Quite passive, but we'll have to see if it is to be dealt with by NIP. So far, it is reigning supreme. Great shot there from Michael Ele onto Freiburg, and that might just deter them from moving up to short now, as uh, they have an unanswered res there's, there's no response for that kill. So do they A split? Do they B split? It's looking like a you know, mid play would be good, but Michael Ellis is so close to response there. It's going to be hard for NIP to make a call here. Looks like they want to go for a mid, though. Time is running out for them, and they may end up saving if they don't get a pick here fast. We've got people rotating to the B bomb site, so actually, A is going to be quite weak here, but the bomb is going towards B. If they can't get a rotation soon from the CTs going towards A, then they are going to get slaughtered here like a, a knife through butter. And there's uh, Pipe behind the car, his teammates just, wa just waiting patiently for his teammates to actually go down there so that he can start taking the, in the kills. But Forrest is actually going to get the frag onto him, and that is going to be what could, well, could be a plant, but he's going to have to go out and make the one-on-one -on -one happen. He gets the no-scope onto PB. Now it's a one-on-one. Oh, no, -on -one. Time. no time. And he hasn't got time indeed. He has to go for the frag. Where's Michael Ayla? He's just hiding. He knows it. Very well played by Unwanted. I really like the movement from, the, from them on the map. After that first pick from Michael Ayla, I think they read the situation. Uh, very well that NIP would be like, well, we can't go up short. Yeah, I mean, that was that was well played. Um, he didn't reveal the AWP at the beginning when the nade came in from un from lower B. And it was great play to get a headshot oh. through the box as well. But never mind, Forrest with his headshot of his own through the door on Pith. And that is going to, uh, again, instantly weaken A um, later on in the round. Because obviously, if you don't have a guy short uh, mid, sorry, then he can't cover short as he normally would. Although, Makalele is the man with the plan who will be on short with, for the meantime with the AWP, and we've seen he's got the reflexes to take them out if they try it and run past the angle. Certainly cat-like reflexes from Forrest as well, and you know, he's slowly edging his way up, waiting for a PK. He might actually see one as unwanted Phil, maybe pressured at this point to get some info as to what's happening. Forrest's going to whiff the shot though, he's just going to try to rattle off some bullets through the doors to see if he can catch some damage here. Maybe some heads, he actually finds himself some frags, three, they fall all together, and now it's all <laughs> just PB left. And that was ridiculous, all the frags at once, and PB is alone, very alone. PB a big fan one. of Team Wolf, it seems, with all the stickers on his, <laughs> uh, his bog standard M4S. <laughs> well, well, uh, well picked out there. I didn't maybe, maybe he's been to India, I don't know. We'll have to see, but he is being hunted right now, so he's going to have to try to hide here, survive. Getting caught off guard by Get Right, coming up suicide. And we do have the ninjas going ahead of one more round. And I, it's it's a shame that we're seeing you know the struggle here from Unwanted. You know after they they lost this uh, the pistol round and everything, they, it's a bit like the situation with LDLC. We only get to see one round so far where they could play their game. Yeah, it was kind of like. Um Epsilon's first game on, on Cash last week where they were T and they just got annihilated and then we saw them later on in the second game on Cash get a few more games in and they kind of uh, went nuclear on the CT side. So let's see if Unwanted can get a few more rounds here, but it won't be this round. Although Fiflaren does get dinked at long, he will need to change his position as they go towards a bomb site. We've got Whitten, last man standing for his team with the USPS Orion. 
will require two dinks Oof. unless he finds himself a fifth Laren. All right, up to Cersei goes. This is going to be pretty, pretty hard to take down Fry, but Fry just turns around and guts him with the AK. So another round here for NIP. Six that was a bit one. Tom and Jerry there in the it was in the apps tunnels. Sorry. Okay, so you know Forrest has been doing a pretty reliable job in mid, but he's got a good spawn for B here, so he's going to look for that B pick perhaps uh, with that AWP. He's got the good, you know, really good timing for it. So here he goes. PB is going along with the a AW Deagle. See AW if Deagle. <laughs> I find someone to face off with. And he's, you can see his timing was really good, but they they know better than to peek his angle. And perhaps they they don't. I mean, with those pistols, they're looking for something and not able to find it. Pfeffering going to make himself some money with two frags. Michael Ellie going to come in from lower dark to return a kill, get himself the AK, and maybe just get a headshot, but perhaps not. They only lose exist, and uh, NIP, you can see their economy is absolutely booming. They're all pretty close, apart from Freiburg, to 16k. So this is scary stuff, because unwanted. I mean, it's, it's like a million years till they, could, they, they can't really force an eco. That's just not going to happen. Yeah, so back with the AWP is Makalele, so we'll see if he changes his position on this occasion. We've got Forrest in Ooh. suicide. Timing off timing from Freiburg, they gave it to him off the spawn for the timing, and he, he's not going to get anything just yet. He, oh, he actually goes down, so pretty big deal there, and that, that was on him. And uh, this could be the first first chink in the armor in this uh, in this round that could really get unwanted back in, perhaps. You can see Fifth Laren just uh, bringing the guns back out of a... Um, doors to put it in a more secure area. If you remember, the, 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 back in the days of 1.6, you could run and just spam G and just kind of juggle guns wherever you like <laughs> yeah, around the map. True. You could have five guns and juggle all of them, but I not that. so. I mean, there's lots of little things that they've changed in this. Like we were just talking before the stream started about how you could stack loads of people on top of each other, but here you can stack a maximum of one person on the other and uh, nothing more. So lots of subtle changes in CSGO as well as large ones. Good stuff here, NIP, the slow progress through to that B side, that B split coming in. Good spray damage done there to the players in dark, and Michael Ellie on the boost, gonna get some damage done as well. And it looks like an easy cleanup so far, just get right left. And that's all she wrote there for NIP. Brilliant round there from Unwanted, absolutely fantastic. Let's see what else they can do. Now they've gotten one round. Hopefully they're gonna have a bit of a better time than LDLC did because they just couldn't quite climb their way back. Epsilon just kept just clutching in the most the most horrible of spots, but perhaps this will go better here. And Michael Ellie is still not ever going to challenge on mid with the AWP, and I actually kind of like that. Yeah, um, he's going back to short, if we can see there. But it's, um, you know, Unwanted only lost two players in that round. Oh, Maxaki, though, has got no armor whatsoever, so I don't know how that's happened, because surely a teammate could have dropped for him, or maybe it was a miscalculation. Does he have any money left? Do we know if he's... Uh, Forgotten to buy He's armor? Forgotten to buy armor. <laughs> oh dear, where on earth is he? He's just hiding in the B site for dear life. He's probably realizing it's like, oh, I think I'm just going to stay behind this box. Um, so if he gets shot in the head, then it then it's neither here nor there. He'd be in an important position to hold. Force these guys back on long. He's got Michael Ellie there for reinforcements. He was just at short. And in he goes with the peak. Does get the kill onto Fifth Lauren. Very good stuff. They have to hold on to this area because NIP are really looking for that A split option. Now it's been denied. And uh, Exist still going to try to work on this. They do have a weak, softened up player from Unwanted PB up on that A bomb site. But at the same time, you know, having lost their player at long, this really is going to be very difficult for them to go for this just straight up short push. So it looks like they're going to go instead for that B split or some kind of play on this uh, on middle here. And, and that's. Yeah, they're going to get the smoke ready for CT spawn here from Exist, it seems like. So they are ready for this uh, four-man B split. And here they go. Exist going to take a kill onto Whitten. As Forrest goes in on short, trying to get some kills on the player who would have been rotating there. Great stuff there from Forrest. What more damage can he do? As a, a Pyth has to defend here against two from two angles. He gets one. That's all he's going to find. Now Forrest, the last man standing here for NIP. Able to take down Michael Elia as well. In he goes. One-on-one -on -one against Mazaki. Got the CZ in hand. There is. Oh, is, is there time? He has to plant. Oh, it's barely not enough time. Oh, just barely not enough time. Oh, it just ticked three seconds as he went for the plant. And oh Ooh. no, he can't even get the shot. I know he pressed the mouse button right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> well, you know, it takes around about three and a half seconds yeah. to plant the bomb there. So he was just uh, just shy, out of time there. Uh, that's an unfortunate miss there for Forrest. I thought he would have got that tag, but CSGO said nope. 
Yeah, Forrest got a really big round there. I mean, I think he had three or four kills going into that, so pretty big result for him. And I like how they decided with the B-Split there that he was like a slightly delayed push on short so that he could catch the rotator, then drop down to maybe kill the guys who were on CT spawn. It's like quite a risky play with all, but Forrest, you know, he's always up for the task. And now we do have them posturing for this A split again. They got a big push up short. Just just going for contact here. No nades, just going straight up now. And they are going to find the frags to make their way onto the bomb site. So this should be a plant. And Fifthron has to execute here on A long. If he's going to have any hope to actually secure this, does get the frag on PB. And that's going to be a great take of this A site here now. And Forrest is going to drop down. There's a guy behind you. And he's going to get taken out. But his teammates are there for the cleanup. Oh, unfortunately, Forrest didn't see that. I guess he's got a different resolution. Yes, to us. Is, he, is he still using 4x3? Uh, he I say still, but he, they're going to use what they're going to use. Yeah, he like, might. I'm sure he might. Change. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure he is. But and when you, when you have a 16-9 view, you do, see, you do see a little bit more than you do if you have a, a 4x3 view. Oh, that's a great snap there by Forrest. And he takes Masaki on the eco as well, down to 19 HP. It will just make things that little bit harder than they already were for the eco CTs. It is round 12, and it's 3-8 in favor of Ninjas in Pajamas. As uh, Get Right finishes the job. And like little pushes here all over the place. We've got, we've got some man with the golden gun business going on here. There's a three on two for Ninjas in Pajamas here with the bomb down at top mid. And uh, Witten may have... Oh, he's actually got it smoked off too. He could work a lot with this. Witten, ready for the clutch here, one on three. Forrest with that AWP is on suicide. He's going to get the shot though. Forrest has been AWPing very well. So far, hasn't he? He has indeed. I mean, that was uh, not, a, not a terrible, terribly hard shot because uh, obviously the CT was just walking sideways again, which always makes life easier for the AWP. But he has been putting in work through those uh, mid doors, as we saw at the beginning of the round there, and uh, a few other ones. It's that consistency too. Even with AWPers, like you don't necessarily need to have them ha hit like Kenny S like shots, but just always hitting the shots that they should. Yeah. Sometimes that seems like a skill that is often missing. Yeah, isn't sometimes it? people get the hard ones but miss the easy ones. And again, there's someone just creeping out and gets taken out by Forrest, so making life easy for him at the moment. Yeah, he's just ra he's racking up those kills. He's getting a lot of frags every round and get right doing what he does, shooting people from behind. And easy frag there as unwanted they feel really pressured to try to like find out what's happening and NIP they're ready to deal with it. They're like, all right, we are just gonna play passively. If you want to come at us we will happily receive you at the end of our AKs and AWP, uh, uh, the AWP of Forest. So we've got an aggressive position here on short, which is about to get Molotov and force uh, Whitten to move back to the short stairs. And uh, one and a half man stack on the B-bomb site at the moment. Second Molotov, just for fun. <laughs> Poor Whitten, man. As Pitt goes alive. down on the B-bomb site. So we have someone on B-slope and... Uh, with some falling to Forest's AWP. It's, it's so, so How many kills does he have now? He's got like 20, 19, 20, I think. It's all like, yeah, he's got 20 now. Just taken out by Michael Ellie. But he's so consistent. Like he just, it, None of these shots are flashy. That's kind of what I love about it. He just, he just hits the shots. So he doesn't miss them. It's so important to be consistent with the AWP. It's, yeah. it's like the most important weapon to be consistent with. Nip are also really good at getting the, the cheap frags, which um, are really important, actually. It's, you know, again, when, when they're positioned and they have a distinct numbers advantage, again, Maxaki getting done through the doors <laughs> by, by Forrest. Piff with an aggressive position here, but he's going to have to wait. Yeah, they, they know all too well, don't they, these ninjas? Get them waiting to receive the party out along. Piff Laren's the long man. He's always in that position, kind of just waiting uh, for faces to emerge to fill with bullets. It's quite cool that he's, he's, on, he's in that spot these days. We used to see that be exclusive to Get Right um, once upon a time. Uh, they used to play Dust2 in that way, but it seems like they are switching things up, which is great to see on these top teams, just like kind of refreshing uh, their, their gameplay and uh, mixing things up. Yeah, Get Right seems to be lurking more in the B tunnels for the time being. But uh, yeah, I was saying like the cheap frags, when, when, when they have a numbers advantage and they have cleared a site, they position themselves in areas where they can catch the rotators. And uh, obviously it just makes life easier for them, really. The rotator's just running towards the bomb site, gets shot in the side of the head. Easy frags, easy life. And uh, like Saki gets away with it this time. Whitten's actually the one with the orb uh, in this round, but it looks like they might be going a little bit aggressive here towards upper dark. Let's have to check Quitten's position real quick to see where he is actually playing. He's actually long. This is not a place we've seen an AWP 
for Unwanted just yet. Usually it's Michaelele on short. Sis with a great reaction shot there onto Michaelele. And Whitten's still alive with that AWP in fifth and might be running into him very shortly. And Pyth just in a good position here. They surely will be looking at that though. And now he's going to whiff the shot and he's not going to get a second chance. Freiberg going to send Pyth back from where he came. And PB, Whitten and Mahazaki left now in the round to try to... You know, they've got to pull together some kind of defense here, and it's going to be a solo defense on B for Unwanted. It's like they are making their way in now. Too short. PB to get one kill as they're distracted. There's the double. There's one more coming in, though. It's Forrest. Been so consistent so far, and still ever consistent is Forrest. Pfeffer now. Can he take control of Long? He will. And now it leaves it all on Mazaki's shoulders. Once at B alone, now has to take down three players. He is putting in good work, takes down the first one, but they are going to be making their way towards that B bomb site. He's picking up the AWP, but this is the last round, so he's going to have to clutch it with this. Bomb has been planted. And get right, lies in wait. Always so patient. The very picture of patience is get right. <laughs> yeah. Excellent positioning there. Has the Zeus as well. Oh, yeah, so he does. <laughs> <laughs> but Dirt, man, dirtiest Forrest. player in the game. You know, Dezus is actually um, really good for if someone's on a plat and you're on slope, you can jump and Zeus them from a from a reasonable distance. Really? Yeah. So it's it's actually more reliable from a pistol oh as long God. as you've got the aim. That is that is sick. That is pretty OP actually. Yeah, it's pretty OP. <laughs> it's just OP because <laughs> yep. you don't give up anything for buying it. Really, it's, what is it like three hundred bucks or something? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it might be more than that actually. I can't remember because they reduced it for that party season thing. They were doing the birthday thing, and then they put it back up to I don't know how much. Oh, might they put be, it back up uh, five hundred. Okay. I don't. I don't know. Because I remember at one point it was like a thousand. It was like really expensive, wasn't it? Someone point. tell us in the stream how much a Zeus is. Yeah. <laughs> and then produ production can let us know. Going to use the stream monsters. Yeah. But it's a pretty convincing um, round. Uh, sorry first half from NIP, and this is something we saw with the LDLC Epsilon match. You know, Unwanted were in a very similar position. They get their, their buy rounds were few and far between. I mean, they, did, they had to double eco so many times, and that's a really scary position to be in, constantly double ecoing. So apparently the Zeus is $400, so thank you, Internets, for that. It is OP, though, but definitely try and do that sneaky tactic uh, if you ever find yourself in that situation and exist. We'll get the first frag of the second half, and that is a seriously banana pistol there from PB. <laughs> and then they go for the A take. Not much resistance found thus far, but NIP playing the retake. And a lot of them coming up mid now. And I'm wondering, they might just bring the fight to them. Look at this. This short battle is going to be pretty immense from both sides here. Loads nice. of players. PB ready with the first kill there. There is the trades coming in, though. Who's going to come out on top when the dust is settling? Looks like... Michael Ellis is still going to hold on to this position. Gets the key frag onto Fiffler, and now it's alone. It's get right alone here, making his way onto this bomb. It's planted for short, so this is going to be nigh on impossible. No time. No kit, no time. So this should be unwanted now, taking this round, and that's going to be a good start for them as a get right tries to get that 300 bucks for the kill. That looks like they all, apart from Michael Ellis, are going to get killed by the bomb explosion. So unwanted with a start here, and a, a buy. Something that they <laughs> they may have forgotten what you know what it feels like to actually have. Okay, so we've got Freiburg with the uh, with, with Jaws. Let's see if he will uh, take it or throw it over to Forrest, which may have been. I mean, Forrest's been putting in work with the snipers. So we saw earlier in uh, I think it was the Epsilon round where they bought bought the Galil and gave it to Shoxy. So should he have given the um, sniper to Forrest based on oh, Thorin's uh, no. theory on Ecos? I don't know, but I'm just sad that Get Right didn't make a kill with a shoddy. Look, he had PB on four points of health. Saddening news. Very saddening news. But we do have three players left alive for NIP at the moment. The the uh, scout is still alive on Freiburg. I so think they should give Freiburg the Deagle and Forrest the scout. He is a sick Deagler. And, well, they're both pretty much sick at everything. So. Actually, for, Forrest is pretty sick at pistols as well. So in fairness, it's, it might work. But we have a full push long. That, e that anti-eco push all together. I think actually going to take down one, and it's like uh, they're pushed onto the sights a little bit labored. Michael Ellie going to give it a feel, feeling of ease right now with that headshot onto Freiburg. As we have Exist and Forrest coming back up for the retake. The jump scout not actually connecting with anything. Michael Ellie going for some shots, actually not connecting at all. Looks like Exist is going to be like, I got a Galil, I'm out. <laughs> 
I'm out. And Forrest is uh, still playing with them at range. So NIP are uh, going to keep a couple of weapons alive. And obviously they're going to be double echoing basically. So, oh, hello. This is actually dangerous. They can't give kills to them. All right. So they're going to take him out. And that's kind of nice, removing that scout from uh, the next round. Because looking at the money, they can't really... Yeah, they can't af they're going to have to eco, obviously. And they now... He can't just rebuy a scout. This is pointless. So, you know, that's actually a big deal. We saw the damage that scouts can can do on this map in the previous when match. When you buy so. four of them. When you buy four of them, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can see it's a pretty pretty bad situation. NIP gonna be full eco this round, so they can buy the following one. And uh, with the mm, actually never mind. I was gonna say with the money they had, Fifth Lauren could buy armor and give him the little butt. It's kind of they need more money on CT anyway, so it's better he saves it. He yeah. could use it to buy an AWP in the following round for. Forest. So we've got a double stack here on mid, but there's no gonna be there's gonna be nobody home. And so we have three players top mid, one of which is in suicide. And uh, two players in B tunnels as Masaki gets a frag on Forest, which leaves B open for the time being. But obviously obviously there's no rotate yet from Nip, as they're probably expecting unwanted to push slow because of the eco. Is this gonna put that Galil to work? That he's safe, and uh, this is not so good actually for unwanted to lose a player. At that uh, in, in that vicinity, so we'll have to see if NIP were able to pick up any weapons here on the mid. It looks like Exist was actually you know, still holding onto his Glial, so ready for a push hit from either side. But turning away at the wrong moment, Mark Lely will pick up the frag. We've got Freiburg and Fifth Room left with their pistols. Freiburg does have the 57. Mark Lely going to end Fifth Room's shenanigans, and it's like Freiburg to suffer a similar fate now as NIP go down one round. We see Wanted up six. Rounds now on the board. Still very far away from the 12th, though, of the, nin the ninjas in pajamas. And this is what I'm talking about. So, Fifth Lawrence extra money allowed for an AWP. And it looks like he's going to be rocking it on the CT side for the time being, at least, as we have three NIP players or two NIP players heading towards long. And Fifth Lawrence will instead go towards the short area. Maybe he'll hold an angle on the ledge. We've seen him, him do it before. If he gets the frag, he'll probably jump down into CT. We'll see how the terrorists are setting up at the moment. We've got two guys in. Lower tunnels. We'll be keeping an eye on shorts for the time being as they kind of set up for the rest of the round here. Yeah, Wanted definitely need to be very cautious in this round now that NIP have their buy. If they're able to win this one, they're going to have a very good situation against NIP forcing an eco. But it looks like Forrest is going to get the first kill. And all the while, the bomb is actually dropped in mid as Unwanted still haven't really decided exactly what they're going to go for. And trying to make their way up for a pick on, on uh, short. PB has a lot of work to do. He has to make something happen as the point man here on this A push. He's got to get a kill or two. And the same goes for Pyfe and Michael Lely here. They've got to open the round up. Looks like Pyfe will take down Forrest. Fifth room whipping a shot. That's going to be the end of him. He's not going to get a second chance. And now it's a two on three situation with a response coming from Freiburg as they are trying to get themselves through mid onto that B bomb site. And look at that through the smoke. Freiburg with excellent spray going to take down both players. And that is absolutely gutting there for Unwanted who desperately needed to force to win that round and force an eco. And instead of what could have been 8-12, it's now 6-13. Nip, uh, nip are 13 rounds up. Three, well not up, but they're up, they're up to 13 rounds and three, ra three rounds away from victory here. As we have a three-man push down long and Fiflaren gets a fast pick on Pith. And uh, the nade, even worse, shoots his gun far out of the hands of the terrorist here. And we could see a second pick here if they're not careful. Nice jump to escape those... Uh, that scope of Fiflaren as we have three terrorists in top mid and Fiflaren will hold the angle here on long with two NIP players on the A bomb site. So yeah, it does look like they are doing the standard kind of take here. We have uh, Michael Ailey going up short, trying to secure that area. Got Forrest, you know, rattling some shots off into the upper dark area as well as they spot some a player of unwanted over in that general vicinity. So we'll have to see now if NIP are able to make a pick as we see these little peaks coming out from unwanted. There's Mizaki on another peak there as they go for this play. This, uh, just hard hitting on B right now, just going straight in there. The, Fre the Freiburg defense is too strong. Michael Ely with a double response though. And now we have a two versus three situation. The bomb is gonna go down for unwanted but three NIP players are going to be hot on their heels as they make their way in through dark with the get right and two from the doors. This is going to be very difficult to hold on to this, but let's see if Unwanted can do it. 
Let's look at the timing of the CT's push on this radar here. We've got one going towards door, one going towards the windows. Get right. Starts lurking on the uh, bomb side of the tunnels here. So, coordinated push from all three CTs. And uh, that's a clean retake for Nip with one man advantage. And uh, very, very sad times here for Unwanted with another round unable to get the clutch going for themselves. Obviously, we saw some good kills coming in from uh, from Pyfe there to try to like create an opportunity, which which he did. He created an opportunity for his team, but they just weren't able to to uh, pull through in the end. And now we're looking at a match point potential round for NIP, who are fantastic. Unwanted forcing it up here. Whitten has an AK, but no armor. But all he needs is one pot shot to the head. He just needs to be faster and with better aim, and uh, that will hopefully give Unwanted an opening to get more back into this game. Bomb is in B tunnels at the moment with uh, Makalele just lurking around mid, sorry, around long. And we've got Get Right, who's lying in wait as he does in his uh, Kaiser Sose fashion. And the terrorists are going to, looks like a B push as they jump down into mid and throw the smoke. Towards CT, but Nip already for it. They've got the uh, counter flash coming in from Freiburg, which will put a stop to this rush. A really good setup here from NIP, but it doesn't look like it's strong enough. Unwanted powering through that angle straight onto that site, and there's a player on that site. In fact, it's going to be, well, it was Forrest, but now he is very dead as we have Fiffler in and Get Right looking for that retake here for NIP. And this is looking so much better than the last round for Unwanted, but here he comes. Get Right takes down Pyth in upper dark, and now it is a two on two situation. And Get Right just tapping away, so patient, so controlled as the Quitten takes down Fiffler, and it's all on get right now to try to win this round to get that match point for his team but Michael Ele is going to send him flying with that AK and Unwanted have one more chance but they need to win so many rounds right now they cannot put a foot wrong they're walking a very fine line between well uh, well it's just it just looks they're like they're just the walking a very fine line just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <pretty much>, yeah. <laughs> well we do have another AWP on the uh, fourth fifth Laren who Seems to be the preferred CT Orpa with uh, Forrest leading the way on the T side. But with, when a man, I guess, when when Forrest is in that form with an AWP, if it's any other player, you'll probably give him the AWP on the CT side. But because it's Forrest, you want to give him an AK instead. Sorry, an M4. And get right actually magging at the moment, or he was magging. He found himself fiddler in his AWP. And uh, now we're seeing Unwanted just letting the ninjas in pajamas kind of stew in this position, waiting for them to kind of have that two set up on B, that two set up on A, so that they can hit somewhere all together as uh, NIP are ready and waiting for this now. I wanted just playing it very calm, very cool. Whether it's going to be a B split or an A split is uh, unknown to an IP until they see the player on long. That's going to be the giveaway. Is this going to spot PB very soon? He knows he's there. He's going to try to turn the angle, and he does get the shots onto PB. PB is not going to get long, so it's still alive. This defense might just be going towards the NIP with that play, but it looks like not. Pyth going to take him down, and now Unwanted have a strong showing on this bomb site. So raffling off so many shots. Pyth with a triple kill now, and it's Forrest left to do the job, and it is too tall in order for him to fulfill. And that's going to be another round there for Unwanted, who are definitely coming back with some momentum, but still, they cannot, they cannot have one round go badly. They just can't afford it at this point. Fifla, uh, Fifla and ninjas in pajamas with a full eco here. If they if they could force it up, but it would be it would be straight up crazy, especially with the advantage they have six round cushion at the moment. So Freiburg avoids the tag there, but exposes his position in lower B. Does not get the kill on Whitson, who survives with 79 HP, and we have two CTs waiting for PB here. He gets the first one. Can he get right as well? Got some assistance coming in, in the name of uh, Pip. We will take out Get Right. Uh, takes a bit of damage here, but there's no one dead yet, and only Forest for the CTs. Only the USB here, so not that much damage going to come out from him. And uh, we'll be back to a full buy here for Nip. Still five round cushion, so uh, won't be getting worried, too worried just yet. However, if they buy this round, they, they may have to double eco, because if they buy here, they will have nothing in the bank. So. Uh, 
Maybe looking at 14-10 in the favor of Ninjas in Pajama. Very yeah, it, it's definitely one of those spots where you want to save so that you don't get to the double eco position. That That is so crippling. We've seen how badly that goes for teams on this map. But we've got a pretty interesting opening for this round. You know, just a bunch of kills coming in. The eco frags, you know, deluxe for Misaki there. Just grabbing loads of kills. And uh, Forest is going to go down as well. So here we go. NIP now. They just need one round. Now it's crunch to get time. To, to get to match point. And we have the buy coming in for them. It is the standard setup. We have Fifflerin rocking the AWP, likely going towards A, either short or long. He's been mixing it up. Perhaps after getting picked on long before, he might go to short this time. But it looks like, he, yeah, he's, nope, that, that, he's going to short with the, the other two mates. And uh, no, in fact, he's going back now. So a little, indec little indecision there from NIP. As uh, we have a big, big movement in the upper dark area that NIP are really feeling. So we'll have to see how they react to this. So far, they're playing it cool. They could have potentially gone auto sniper there on B, on the B bomb site, which may have given them more freedom to put more men around the mid to A area and have a potentially stronger defense. But they have opted just for the AWP, which with Laren is playing on the Ooh. A bomb site. Freiburg is actually going to go in for an aggressive peek here with Forrest. Compatriot, and they take a quick kill and then going to move back. There's a lot of information as well found out by NIP. Not seeing many players in dark, they're going to turn their attention towards that mid because if there was a B split brewing, that's where players will start spilling out of those double doors. And it's like a unwanted, they're actually setting up here for a B play. They've got, got them actually moving in right now and have to see if. They're able to defend here. Forrest able to get one kill. Freiburg you know, chiming in for another one. We've got Michael Ely there ready with the AWP. Big round needed from him right now. And Quitten, who also remains from Wanted. He goes down. Now it's all on Michael Ely. Misses the shot. And he's not going to get another chance. It's going to be 15 rounds for NIP and 10 for Unwanted. There is still hope. It is still possible to at least get to that draw. But it's going to take five rounds in a row against arguably the world's best. They've got lots of money in the bank here, so we're going to see triple AWPs here from Wanted. Hello, LDLC. Started a trend here. Not one, not two, but three AWPs. So we'll see what kind of damage they can cause. And Makadeli gets off to a great start with a frag on Fifth Flaren. There will be one more person at long here, but uh, that will put them in good stead to continue this round. Yeah, they're going all in for this because why not? They why have not? the cash. Let's mix it up. Let's try to make a strong play. And so far, you know, Michael Ely, he gets those opening kills with all pretty, like, fairly consistently. It's usually on Fiffler, and um, we've seen as well, often losing the challenge at long, uh, not having the best time one on one AWP against Michael Ely. And uh, right now, you know, Mzaki, you know, rocking the AWP as well. Very defensive here in case they decide to push again, like they have been doing here and there. Nip have sensed something here because they're preparing for a mid push. And you can see Pierce has got basically control of the CT area. Get right also is facing the uh, kind of short area, but ready to support for mid as well. So uh, something crazy could happen here, and this could go either way. Pith peeking out does get Freiburg in mid. Get it's right. going to continue here. He has to make the kills here. If Get right can't make these kills, it's over for NIP. And Get right going to take down PB there. Looking, looking uh, pretty okay for them. And Gerai taking the next frag. Gerai's just stopping them dead with that AWP. Not often you see him pick it up, but he is as deadly as ever. And now Michael Ele stands between victory and defeat in this round and the match. As he's going to drop on top of Gerai, but what a flick there from the man from NIP. And that's going to be 16 to 10. NIP are going to defeat Unwanted. But it was a good match. It was a pretty close one. We saw a lot of potential, I think. From unwanted. Yeah, we did, and uh, but I think uh, the star of the show, at least in the first half, there was Forrest. His orping was oh, really yeah. just consistent, just steady, knocking, knocking him down like like it's uh, bowling, basically. You know, he just he just knocked out the park there for his team. Twenty frags in the first half with the AWP, which is not. I mean, you see him orping, but I mean, to that extent, it's not very often you see that. Yeah, it's it's so cool how Forrest picks up the AWP on Dust too, because I've seen it before in big games where you know you s you see uh, like Nip struggling, and then Forrest they get to their T side, Forrest picks up the AWP, and he often just has these big performances, and it's not like flashy, it's just just solid, it's just solid. He just it, or he almost makes it look really easy. It's like oh the guy's just slowly moving around the corner, and he just waits and shoots him. But like yeah. Forrest, he positions himself there. He knows that it's gonna come. His his reactions are always faster than the other guy. So it's honestly it's just so gorgeous to watch. Yeah, it was great, great fragging there by Nip and they were a bit unsteady on the um, on the CT side. A lot of rounds got back by unwanted, but in the end they had such a cushion that uh, it may have been inevitable when they ended it with 16-10. So 
great play by uh, Nip. We have about 10 minutes until the next game, so we're going to go on a break here. So uh, in the meantime, again, check out the Faceit platform, faceit.com. You can enter the pugs, leagues and ladders. Um, you can also win VIP tickets for yeah, our Win a finals. flight, guys. Win a flight and hotel to Milan Games Week, where the lands will be ha are happening. And uh, that's going to be a land for the Face It League. That's going to be you know, six like really sick top teams, two from America, four from Europe who qualify, and you'll be in the same hotel as the casters, the teams. It's, it's, and it's in Italy, by the way. That's where Milan is, just, just in case you didn't realize that. I mean, that's, that's worth playing for, isn't it? That's, that's pretty awesome. I haven't seen a prize like that in a while. So definitely get on that for the community nights. Um, and uh, I guess we'll go to a quick break. Yep. Jane said, we'll see, see you, you in 10 side. minutes.